started in the fire service when I was 16 years old. And while he's dedicated his life to public service. My name is Tom Herman. Through four decades as a firefighter. Yeah, I have an addiction. He's also known across the country as a collector. Got into collecting fire memorabilia and it just kind of never stopped. And known as an authority on almost all things fire service related. I don't know how all this happened, but it just kind of morphed over a 40 year time period. The inventory of the collectibles, somewhere around 120 pages long. He has badges, helmets, fire alarms, fire extinguishers, and the list goes on. But behind these doors... In 1976, I bought our first antique fire truck. A collection that has grown over the years. Well, right now, we are at about 18. Each one with a unique history all their own. Just think about all the responses that they made to fires, accidents, what these trucks have seen over the years. But a collection like this doesn't start out in pristine condition. These trucks serve, serve their locality for usually 30 years, sometimes 40 years or more. They have a lot of history in them. So to look like this took lots of patience. And I spent three years disassembling the vehicle. And then even more patience. It took five years to reassemble the, the vehicle. The end result, a work of art with ties to Richmond. This is a 1937 Buffalo hose wagon that served its entire career in the city of Richmond, Virginia. History aside, fire truck collecting has some practical reasons too. Fire trucks are the cheapest of all collectible vehicles to purchase, and if a collector doesn't purchase them, they end up being scrapped. Which is why the Old Dominion Historical Fire Society is thriving. We now have over 300 members who collectively own approximately 250 antique fire apparatus. Sometimes Tom's research unlocks a key. So this particular truck is a 1925 Mack. When it arrived to the barn at Tom's house. All we knew was the truck was the first fire truck in service at the Cross Anchor South Carolina Fire Department. He began his usual extensive research. That's when we find out the truck was originally built for the Lakewood, New Jersey Fire Department. And soon the realization. Well, it's a real piece of history. Learning this truck. It's starting to rain again. Had a link to May 6, 1937. They backed notice of the ship just holding it. Uh, and to an aviation disaster. It burst into flames. Get it started. Get it started. It's right and it's rising. It's rising terrible. That on the day of the Hindenburg disaster, Lakehurst contacted Lake Wood to respond to that incident. LZ-129 burst into flames while attempting to dock. Oh, the humanity. This was the very truck that responded to the Hindenburg. 35 people killed, 62 survived. This is one of two fire trucks still in existence, known to have been on site that fateful day. There's an old adage, if it could talk, which would mean Tom's collection could spend hours regaling us with life-saving adventures. As for Tom Herman, his is a lifetime spent loving the job he did at work and at home, appreciating and honoring the people and equipment that came before. As for that old Mac, it may soon be heading back to New Jersey. That's a look inside Wayne's World. I'm Wayne Colville, CBS 6 News.